Hi guys, welcome back to Toby Kid Over 9000 and today we got a Tinker Crate box. Yep, our second one. So let's open this up. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we're making a light up planetarium. Cool. Yeah, this is how it's supposed to look like. So here we have some dome pieces with constellations on them. We have a stand for our planetarium. And we also have some lights and battery pack. That way our planetarium can glow and shine. Okay, so our first step is to punch holes in the dome pieces. That way we can let the light shine through and see stars. So let's do that. We're all done. My box is tortured. But it's finished now. They're all poked. So step two is to um, fold these pieces upwards. Yes, upwards. And we'll just do that with all of the dome pieces. Okay, so we folded both blue pieces on each dome piece. So, step number three. It says that we need to fold all of the black flaps, all of these things, down on both dome pieces. Done. So, that's how it looks when it's all folded up. And yeah, <clears throat> on to step number four. So it says that we need some of these double stick foam pieces here. So we can stick them onto this um, ring. So I finished putting all of the double stick square foam pieces onto the ring. So this is the finished product. Um, well, let's take off all these peels and start building the dome. Okay, so this is the finished product. After I put this piece in, and there you go. Finished product. And all we have to do now is just connect these two together. So that's step nine. So let's go grab our black piece of paper, our black sticker, and um, let's cut squares. I need scissors. So we'll peel this sticker. Come on. Um, um, having some technical difficulties here with the sticker. <laughs> How'd you do it? So we finished putting on our stickers. Yeah, it's finished now. Hopefully I didn't cover up any of the stars, but yep, there's our dome. And now let's move on to building the stand. But let's take our stand piece and let's do number one by sticking our double sticky foam donuts into our stand pieces. Right here and right here. And, um, yeah, do not try to eat these. These are not edible. Um, <laughs> so let's stick them right on here. One. And two. Insert the batteries into the battery pack. So we do need the batteries. Okay, um, there's the open hatch. Open hatch, open, open, 
there we go. Okay, uh, mighty finger of steel will cut our battery pack. Okay. Please don't break. So let's attach our battery pack into our stand. So that, and there we go. Our finished product for step number four. So poking LED through the two small holes. Right there, I see it. Poke it! Come on! Yes, we're breaking through the wall. And we infiltrated the piece. And we'll attach the long LED to the red wire. So this is the long one, I believe. Am I right? Yep. And we'll attach the short one to the back wire. So I'm going to guess it goes in like this. Let's make sure that our LED here works. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, so bright. My eyes. My eyes. Turn it off. Okay, I'm, I'm not turning that on again. Um, <laughs> so let's put it all together now. Our thing is such a mess right now. <sighs> Move it over here where messy power is so you guys can't see it. Yay. UFO is taking this landing. Goodbye. It's time guys. We're going to have our own very own planetarium. These usually cost like a million dollars or something. And there you go guys. There is our planetarium. And hopefully our LED won't burn our eyes this time. I don't want to be blind. Okay, so here's our planetarium that can actually, hopefully, glow and work that didn't cost a fortune. So I've closed all of our, our curtains, I've turned off the lights, now it's time to make it glow. Let's see, this was really bright earlier, hopefully it's still the same. Ooh, cool. Also included in the kit is a booklet explaining the science and history of stargazing. Inside, it introduces the concept of a celestial sphere. It is an imaginary sphere of stars used to observe and map the night sky. Many different people throughout history created celestial spheres to map the stars and constellations. Some use the stars to help in wayfinding or in navigation. The planetarium we just made maps the constellations of the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. The Little Dipper is made up of seven stars which includes Polaris or the North Star. Many people use the star Polaris to help them find their way by pointing which way is north. No compass needed. Cool! Well guys, we finished building our planetarium and we made our room light up so that's the end of the video if you guys enjoyed please hit that like button and subscribe to join more fun videos take care and bye kid out